So guys, this is actually episode two of her house girl Mboch Makadamo's house girl. So guys, as usual, Milia Safi as we continue with the story. So guys, look at me a chia up to Kisema Makadama wa Saudia wa Rabuni. How the Taliban you understand? They just pretend they are not Kadama. Some say house girl, but how what any Kadama say? Now how any house girl? How any Mboch? Nowadays it house managers eh, but how are international? They are having a, a little a little bit of person a Jew. You understand? But Musidulumiyo kwa sababu wenu wa chini unapata pesa kidogo wenu wa Kenya ni wa Africa you be like oh don't worry bibi vile wewe bado uko naive haujakuwa na ile motive ama uje compose yourself kujaribu something new understand whenever you actually kwa hiyo kazi ya house girl uko huko Kenya baby girl utapata yani uko tu very naive una unaogopa kuchukua another step probably maybe education yako iko a little bit low ama sometimes watu wengine education yao iko high but wanaogopa wanasema kai so mimi nitaenda kwa hiyo kazi nyingine kufanyaje but baby girl ukijicompose na whenever uko kwa hiyo kazi ya umboch hapa Kenya baby girl hapo jaribu at least kujipea kujimotive ku learn so tu unaenda huko nje siku za off ukijiingiza wewe mwenyewe kwa vitu zingine zenye haziko understand jiingiza kwa vitu zingine zinakufanya una learn one two three things you understand guys so guys tips za kufanya mwarabu oh so za kufanya madam mama poi mama wa injiru mama sijiti nani you know akupenda ni umempress you understand kama wewe ni mboch na una take ya mtoto mdogo mtoto kuanzia Let me just for let me just say for years kwenda chini watoto wenye bado wanajisusulia watoto wenye bado they can you know wanazafanya vitu zikachafuka chafuka haraka especially mtoto kama mtoto amejimwagia maji kwa long kwa kwa shati ama amejikojolea baby gali usi wao unamfanya anakaa na hiyo nguo ya baridi chukua hiyo nguo yake baridi na jua madam mama auntie sikuzi ni danga auntie ama mama fulani alikwambianga hizi ndoni za watoto especially tukikuwa huku Kenya understand. Hii ndo ya mtoto chukua maji, eka sabuni ya maji ya sabuni ya mtoto, chukua hizo nguo zake baridi ekanga pale understand. But usi make sure ndo unachanganya za white na black. Zinyazo hizi sokishka, zinyazo hizi jisok, usiweke ndani ya maji eka kwa beseni ya mtoto. But nguo ya mtoto ikiingia maji, chukua eka ndani ya beseni ama hiyo ndo ufunikie baby guy. Najua utataka kuosha saa hiyo kwa sababu hakuna mtu mwenye anataka eti kila saa nguo inachafuka ama inaingia maji, unaosha eti nguo inachafuka inaingia maji unaosha hapana baby guy. Tunataka pia sisi tupate ile time ya kurelax pia mikono yetu relax ekanga kwa ndo baby gali the whole day ikiisha umezika kwa ndo kesho yake asubuhi kiamke baby gali aza kuziosha si eti mtoi alimwagilia maji mtoi alitapika kwa nguo hata ujendo katwanisha hizo matapiko ndo isok wewe mwenyewe umejipata umechukua nguo ya, ma, ya matapiko umeenda kusoko ndani ya zile nguo zingine hiyo inamaanisha haupendi hiyo kazi haupendi huyo mtoto like we just fed up una na sembe gali jikompose yourself penda hiyo kazi jisoko kesho yake asubuhi kiamke unaweza ziosha hata unaweza sema eti basi nisioshe zenye nguo za watu wakubwa ama wale watoto wenyewe wako grown osha za mtoto mdogo because it it seems yani unaonyesha love na you are care you understand watu wangu kitu kama hiyo unaelewa si eti mtoto amenini ame, ame, amefanya nguo imekuwa baridi ukaitupanisha tu pale na ikapo 3 days 4 days ambapo umengoja siku ya kuosha nguo zote pamoja ndio kuosha Inafanya nguo ya mtoto inanuka jamani. Huyu ni mtoto mdogo, skin yake iko sensitive, you understand? Learn to to learn. Najua najua you are not gonna learn. Najua kuna watu wengine wanasema eti mimi ni zangu ya nguo. Kwa sababu upendi kazi, hata basi acha kuchukia kazi but usichukie mtoto, you understand? Things like that. Una understand baby girl? <coughs> Amka mapema, jipange. Umeamka 6 especially watoto wakienda shule umeamka 6 ama ni 5 mtoto ameenda shule wenye wamebaki unajaribu 1 2 3 adam auntie ameenda kazi anza ku watch movie yako kisha maliza ukikaa na mtoto try and at least uki watch kwa sababu tena mtoto na ukiona basi unataka ku watch tv na hiyo mlango kuna city room iko na mlango funga ndio basi mtoto akua anafanya nini anachezea tu na hapa hata kama utakuwa kwa tv mtoto atakuwa mbali na wewe you understand kuliko umefungua hii mlango umefungua ile ya nje uko kwa tv maybe katoto kaliende shushushu funga hii at least akuange tu hapo round hata akifanya tu nge unamuona try to love watoto try to make ngo za watoto zikuwe more priority si eti mingia maji na unaizitupa pale ama alisusuka itupa pale ianze kunuka ndio sasa time yenyewe za kuosha nguo za mshumo mshumo na unazosha pamoja hapana baby girl you understand <laughs> kitu kingine watu wangu baby girl time yenyewe sasa umeshaanza kukua fizika yanzo umeshaanza kuelewa kazi umeshaanza kuelewa madam 
Usikuwa na kiburi. Asa unaifika mahali unasema ah mimi rasa hizi osha hii nyumba. Unaacha nyumba iko kwa chafu. Kwa sababu mshana sana kwa sababu na madam, so, nimezoea madam. Mshana zoeana na auntie na hiyo boss yako mshazoeana. Asa wewe kazi yako ni ah mshazoeana sasa hata hawezi osha hiyo nyumba. Hmm? Unaacha tu nyumba ikikuwa chafu. Hata hawezi fanya taral cleaning. At, ah mshazoeana tunacheka na wewe. Ah. Madam najua yule yule yule, yule auntie wa kinanga bra hiyo kule juu mimi simpendangi eh. Mnaanza viti anza vitina but nyumba ikuwe safi as for me i don't remember if mimi nishaikuwa so it tunaongea na wewe tunaanza kucheka at the end of the day nianze kuneligate kuneligate kazi hapana things like that wewe nasa jaribu baby girl hata kama unaanza mshene kazi iko sawa na usio unangoje eti mpaka auntie ya madam akwambie eti ah eti mbona hujaosha nyumba na sasa jaribu kujipanganga mapema ukijipanga tu mapema ni hivyo another thing watoto wakitoka shule asuyusho wewe umeosha nyumba iko safi lakini ikishafika saa 10 saa 11 ndio saa 9 watoto wanaanza kutundi shule nyumbani baby gani atakuja tupendishe pale kwa kiti atuanishe socks ya peleke huko maybe achukue anze watch cartoon probably wengine wanasikia njia wanaenda direct after chai. Kama niacha kule walikuambia unampikia pika at least mapema you understand? Hiyo chai I don't know kitu ya kula jioni pikanga mapema unaelewa. I love the time wanatupa. Usijam ni mtoto eh? Mama ulimuonyesha mara ya kwanza mwambie yange tu. Wewe jioni ukitoka shule, hiyo socks yako unafanya nini? Ekanga kwa hii bese ama kwa hii bucket. Hii bag yako unafanya nini? Ekilanga pale juu hata juu. Bado usipomuonyesha yeye anajonga tu atakuja, atuanisha socks atupe. Na wewe unaboeka, zio kote. Tu kusabuni socks baby girl. But wewe ukiacha hapo, the more unaziacha hapo ni 1 mini, just 1 mini zio kote ndio kwa bicep. But ama wewe mwenyewe unafanya nini? Umufuze polepole. Ukifuze mtoto polepole si lazima mchape. Eh, hey, yani wewe jioni kazi yako ni kutupa tupa, yani hizi maengo. Hapana, ukimwambia ataanda stand atajua tu nikifika tu hivi auntie anasema anga hingo nisitupe hapa things like that unaelewa baby girl <laughs> good alafu baby girl kitu kingine jaribu pia wewe unapika mapema eh ambia mdosi ah mama njeri <laughs> unajua maybe za zingine mama njeri amepika ameka menu ya kupika kitu yenye yuko na unajua ni siku leo fulani kupika kitu fulani pikanga mapema. Wewe muongeleshe ngoja kuna wengine pia tutasema wewe tutafika ndio tujipange. Najua mnaboekanga but jaribu pia wewe kuenda na the way she's telling you understand. Na pia wewe size ngine unaweza fanya nini unaweza muongelesha baadaye unamwambia eh ukinipe hivi mapema naweza tarishanga kitu fulani mapema you understand. That's it guys and see you next time for another tips of having been a house gandu pending kazi yako you understand guys. So bye.